This video is sponsored by Skillshare. So I just had an amazing day together with a gray heron and I got so many great images that I like, especially uh, the gray heron uh, catching a fish. That was a dream picture that I got. So I thought I'm going to go into Lightroom today and show you a little bit about my process there. But uh, my main thing about doing this video here is actually um, to show you this awesome, awesome tool. I know many of you already have used it and many of you have uh, given me tips about going to use this uh, tool here. But first of all, I'm going to dive into Lightroom. I'm going to find a picture that is not in the video but which has a little bit higher ISO uh, because the tool is uh, from Topaz and it's a denoise. It removes noise without taking the sharpness away. So I'm going to show you that. I chose this photo here. I don't think it's in the video, but this photo here is taken with ISO 1250 on the D500 with a teleconverter. So there is uh, some noise here in the background and uh, actually this image here is not cropped at all as you can see here so um, i was really really close to this heron but of course uh, with the d500 and the crop factor it's a thousand and fifty millimeter so it has a lot of power getting closer to the hair gray hair in there but this picture here i want to go through and edit and show you a little, little bit about my, my process and I'm going to show you a magic tool that I know many of you know but for those of you are not knowing or not using it I wanted to show you and tell you this awesome tool so first of all I'm starting to look at the histogram here and if you see there is a little gap here on the highlights so I'm going to adjust my exposure a little bit here and you see this area here uh, there is a little bit too much white there so I'm going to pull down on the highlights uh, a little bit more there is not too much details here but um, you can see there is no no like highlights peaking here so this is okay uh, we if you want you can also like take it uh, all the all the way to the edge and I can use the whites here just to get that a little bit brighter uh, i'm just going to go through uh, my like almost like a default setting in my head uh, i'm starting with colors um, i'm using plus five on the saturation a plus five five on the vibrance i'm going to use a little bit clarity and in this case here i'm going to look like uh, look how it's reacting to the dehaze on minus five uh, why i do that is to bring out more of the darker areas uh, a little bit more flatter uh, but i can adjust with the brush afterwards to go and uh, add uh, the haze uh, and a little bit more clarity on the bird itself so the bird won't get too flat so by doing that i can go here and take the dehaze around 10 and maybe the clarity around 10 and just yeah start to like brush in the the dehaze and the clarity so we can get a little bit more of the contrast of the bird and like to recover what i lost on just taking the dehaze on the whole image so there we go that was a little bit better let's see maybe I can yeah give it a little bit more dehaze there I am happy and I can also uh, use sometimes I use the texture to get a little bit more sharpness but uh, this time here as you can see it's a little bit soft here in the head area I'm guessing it's it's uh, the teleconverter that's no problem at all uh, we can fix that afterwards but I'm going to give it a little bit sharpness here in the Lightroom uh, and the default I use uh, for the sharpening here in the Lightroom is the amount of 60 and radius of 1.4 but I deal a little bit more with the sharpness as you can see here on the background it introduced a little bit more noise 
but like I said, I'm going to deal with that in a little bit. I can do a little vignetting here, I like that. Actually, I'm not going to crop this image at all. I'm going to leave it as it is. The white balancer is, I'm going to test it and see uh, how it reacts to do a little bit of that. I like how the background gets a little bit more um, warmer, but uh, the gray heron turns a little bit too uh, brownish and yellowish in my my taste in my opinion and that is not the color that the bird is it's more a gray bluish color uh, and if i want to like fix that take the brush again and take down the, the temperature just take it a lot and i can adjust that later on and just starting to brush over the bird here so it will get back its original colors and what I like really like about this uh, bird here it's like the blue gray color against that warm background I really like that because that makes it more contrasty and uh, the like the warm tones and the and the cold tones crashing together it, it creates a really beautiful contrasty look in my opinion though i'm thinking this is a little bit on the edge of getting too much colors so i'm just going to pull back a little bit a bit on the, the temp um, the white balance on the whole image here i think that looks a little bit better maybe to remove the the vibrance yeah I like that but what I'm going to do now is to deal with the noise and here comes the magic tool what which I really 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 like and what I do then is press edit in and topaz denoise AI now here we go and what I'm going to do is just to center the head here a little bit I don't want to zoom out so I get the whole image when I process uh, the uh, noise removal because that takes a lot of time so I'm just going to concentrate on that little area here so you can press auto here and a topaz will like analyze the picture and adjust the uh, removal of noise and enhancement of sharpness uh, depending on how it's like uh, think about the image and also you have the post processing here you can choose how much of the original detail you want to recover and i like to have a little bit uh, detail uh, recover so i don't lose too much of the sharpness so i have found with like uh, experiment with this program here that the 28 is a good amount of that but let's check what the auto is and what i do then is just press update and then with process and generate a preview on how it's going to look and boom there you go the noise is removed and look at that result there is before and here is after isn't that amazing or what if you want to try the topaz d noise yourself i'll leave a link in the description and if you use the code tron15 there is a 15 percent off of your purchase I actually like this result here, so I'm going to apply this. So here we go. It's back in Lightroom now and has done a really great job removing the noise and uh, preserving the details on the bird. I'm just going to bring this into uh, Photoshop now. So here we go. And uh, first of all, I see some uh, grass on the sides here, which I don't like. So I'm just going to try to retouch it a little bit here with this tool here uh, and quickly just go over here and see if that does a good enough job and yeah, uh, it does. And the same with this here. Okay, that's enough. 
what I'm going to do now is apply a little bit of sharpness to the image here. And what I do then is go to uh, Unsharp Mask and I have the amount of 158 and the radius of 0 0.2 and that's my default settings. So I'm going to apply that and also going to apply Smart Sharpening here and the amount of 85 and radius of 0 0.2 and that is also my uh, default setting. And it made a really good job just to like have that last crispness to the image. And I'm going to apply a border here so I can make the frame uh, what, uh, what I normally do when I'm posting pictures. And I'm going to like do this here. This is all my default and see how it's turning out. Yeah, that's good. And then apply my signature here and just adjust it so in the middle and I'm going to transparency here just to get it a little bit like this and yeah so this is uh, a little bit of processing this great great session of the gray heron and uh, and I wanted to show you this uh, Topaz Denoise because that is actually, uh, I, I think it's almost like magic. It does a really, really, really good uh, job of removing noise, but enhancing and getting uh, sharp pictures. So hopefully this was helpful for you. I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video here. What I uh, personally are trying to go get a little bit more into depth in is Photoshop. I know a lot about Lightroom, but Photoshop is a total different world and has so many possibilities for like using masks and stuff like that. And Skillshare is an awesome platform to learn that. Skillshare is an online learning community. It has a large library where you can learn a lot of new skills. All from photography, videography, languages, cooking, and yeah, all you can think of. So here's the course I'm taking at the moment. This is Daniel Scott talking about Adobe Photoshop CC. And he's really great explaining things in an understandable way. So there is a lot to learn in Photoshop and this is a good way to like going through from beginners to advanced. Compared to other learning communities online, Skillshare is not expensive with less than $10 per month and you get access to all premium material. So go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. The first thousand people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. And once again, I will thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video.